What's up, everybody? CT back with my 2014 SEC football preview. And it's time to talk a little bit of Pig Suey. Brett Bielma is going into his second year at Arkansas. And 2013 did not go well. And I think everybody pretty much expected this, including Brett Bielma. And you could not expect them to to have done much better than 3-9, 0-8 in the SEC. And it was I thought it was a really interesting hire when Arkansas hired Brett Vilma because I, I was just curious at how they got him. Uh, going from Wisconsin and where he had that program to Arkansas was an interesting move to me. And I really couldn't believe that he did that. I don't know how he how they got him. I think it, I thought it was a good hire, a, a, a solid hire, but an interesting one at that. And uh, well, I think a lot of people are asking, and including myself, especially myself, is can Brett Bielma compete in the SEC, specifically in the SEC West, playing the the style of football that he plays and recruiting the style of players that he recruits. He's basically playing the same style as Alabama, LSU, and to a degree, you know, Florida and uh, South Carolina, but mainly Alabama, LSU. The power run game, play good defense, and I personally think it's going to be really hard for Brett Bielma and Arkansas to beat Alabama and LSU at their own game. When you see teams who have had success against Alabama and Saban, who have they been? Spread offenses, like uh, with dual threat quarterbacks. Uh, not not your you know typical old school football. You know the the Cam Newtons and Johnny Manziel's and Nick Marshalls and even Oklahoma uh, last year in the Sugar Bowl, just throwing it around. Uh, like they did, you know, kind of a up-tempo spread type offenses that seem to be working against uh, Alabama. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if he's going to be able to do that at this. I mean, he's going to have to beat these teams at their own game. And he's going to have to, in order to do that, I think he's going to have to out-recruit Alabama and LSU, which will not be easy. He may be able to get this team and this program to, you know, beat the Mississippi States and Ole Misses possibly. He may be able to get them to that, that you know, uh, mid-level. But I don't know if he's going to be able to take them to where they were when uh, Bobby Petrino was there. See, that's what they need to do. You need to. You, it's going to be really hard to beat these teams. Uh, like LSU and Alabama at their own game. You got to do something different. Look at what Auburn's doing, and, you know, you get the point. Anyways, uh, a tough year last year for Arkansas. It could have been a little bit better. I remember they lost. They blew a lead over in uh, at Rutgers, and uh, there was a couple other games. I think they, they had a chance to beat Mississippi State. They... Uh, and they squeaked out some of the the games they did win, but they could have at least got a conference win. I think if uh, the ball had bounced their way, they had some injuries, and you know, uh, you know, it was a tough year. Let's put it that way, and it was expected, but that's okay. Uh, you know, it, that's that's part of it. And going into this uh, 2014 season, they have seven. Uh, returning starters on offense, eight on defense, which is pretty good. Uh, they were a young team, played a lot of young players last year, including one of the key uh, returnees for Arkansas is quarterback Brandon Allen. Uh, did not play very well last year. I think he completed under 50% of his passes uh, overall in the season. And that's not going to get done. Uh, they know that they're clearly a uh, run-first team, and teams <coughs> will stack the box and make Brandon Allen beat them. 
and I don't know if he can do it. Uh, we'll see, but he needs to be way more consistent with his accuracy. And you know, he's a little, he's a mobile quarterback. He can move around a little bit and extend plays and that type of deal. But uh, he's going to have to be more accurate with the football. I think he will be more accurate. I don't know how accurate and how good he can be, but uh, he can. He'll be better this year. Let's put it that way. Uh, return Alex Collins. Uh, I think he's their their best back. Uh, very very good back, and they have a good backfield as a whole. Does Arkansas? Maybe the most underrated backfield, or definitely one of in the country. You know, if not the SEC, and uh, that's what they need. And I think. Uh, I'm not sure how old these guys are. I guess he uh, pretty much inherited them, did uh, Bilma when he got there. But uh, those guys really impressed me last year, and they'll be even better this year. And they got a decent offensive line blocking for them as well. Uh, Jonathan Williams is the other halfback. And they have another guy, I think, that uh, is really good as well that I've know I've heard people talking about that uh, – they said he's you know, kind of an under-the-radar guy to watch out for. Can't recall his name. Didn't jot it down. But uh, we'll see. They do a running back by committee thing, of course, as uh, most teams do nowadays. And uh, but Alex Collins, I think, is a uh, NFL caliber back. And maybe these other guys are too, but he's really the one that, uh, that catches my eyes. I think he's the one with the dreads, <coughs> if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they returned Trey Flowers and Darius Phylon, who on the defensive line, who will be holding it down, holding things down there. Two very good uh, defensive linemen. Trey Flowers is defensive end. Phylon's defensive tackle. Uh, and that that's key for Arkansas for the type of team that uh, Brett Bielma wants them to be. You know, if you're a run first team, you you it'd be It'd be ideal if you could stop the run on defense. So that's usually two things to go hand in hand. And if you're going to be, if you're going to compete with the uh, LSU's and Alabama's, you better be able to stop the run. You def uh, definitely believe that. Um, key losses: Travis Swanson, uh, center. Uh, anytime you're a uh, power run team like Arkansas is, a center is a, a crucial part of that. Uh, usually uh, reads the uh, reads the defense and the blocking schemes. Uh, I know I know that's what the center does for other teams. I don't know if if it's the same in their system, but I know in a lot of systems the center is almost as important as the quarterback when it comes to the running game. Um, uh, they lose Javante Hurden, uh, wide receiver, which is uh, a little bit concerning. And not necessarily that they lost him, but I question uh, who their playmakers are going to be on the outside for Brandon Allen to throw to. He already struggles a little bit with accuracy as it is, and if he doesn't have guys open, you know, you see where the problem is going to lie there. Um, let's see here. They also lost a, a couple defensive linemen. I think that was. Uh, they were trying to aid on defense. I think two of the ones they lost were on the defensive line. Even though two of their key players were... Uh, they, I guess they must have lost a defensive end and a defensive tackle. Even though two of the best players that they're returning is a defensive end and a defensive tackle. So uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, they probably have uh, pretty good depth there uh, in the defensive line. And uh, Flowers and Flylon will be able to hold it down fine, I think. Uh, they're definitely going to have a good running game. The pass is not going to be much. I don't see their offense. I see their offense improving uh, a decent amount over two thousand over uh, last year, and uh, I don't think they were very good against the pass. And their defense just wasn't very good last year. Let's just call it what it is. I don't think it's going to. It'll be a little bit better this year. 
but I still think they're uh, I think they'll be better against the run but I don't know if they'll be uh, actually I think I said that backwards I think they might actually be better against the pass I'm not sure how much better they'll be against the run uh, I'm not sure who they how good their linebackers are really uh, I haven't heard much from them I think they're returning pretty much all their linebackers I think they may have lost one uh, defensive back. So they'll be a year older. So their defense should be better. But I don't think it's going to be a uh, upper echelon uh, defense in the SEC. Let's go ahead and take a peek at their schedule this year. Which I have not looked at for a while. So, uh, Of course they open up at Auburn on the SEC Network. And that's a tough game to start out with if you're Arkansas. Uh, if I was Brett Bielma, I would want to start out uh, with a couple easy teams to try to gain some momentum, kind of like Kentucky's schedule has. I think that would be big, but you don't. You open up with Auburn, and Brett Bielma has had uh, a little bit of uh, words exchanged, a little bit of controversy exchanged back and forth with Gus Malzahn. I remember specifically at the SEC Media Day last year. I think I'm sure things have cooled down since then. There was a little bit of debate about the uh, up-tempo offenses. Brett Bilmo saying that it's a uh, it's dangerous. It can inc increases uh, the chances of uh, injury. And Gus Malzahn basically said that that was BS, and that he thought it was a joke. And you know they went kind of went back and forth. You know, kind of like. Uh, kids but it, it's entertaining when that type of stuff happens I don't uh, it kind of kind of creates a little bit of a, a rivalry even though it's not not really I, I really I think every team uh, in the SEC West are kind of rivals in a way and every team in the East are kind of when you play a team every single year especially when you have good games then it kind of creates a rivalry you know at least that's kind of the way I feel uh, but I think Arkansas will lose this game. Well, I, first of all, I think they will hang around for the first, like, two and a half quarters. But I think they end up getting blown out pretty badly in this game. I don't think they're ready for this test quite yet, I think. Auburn is going to actually be better than they were a year ago. And they will be a lot better than they were when Auburn played Arkansas in uh, Fayetteville last year. Last year, Auburn went up, jumped off to a big lead. I think it was like 28 nothing or 28-3 or something like that. Uh, Arkansas kind of made a little comeback, and then Auburn pulled away again. And I kind of see maybe something similar to that happening here, but I think the margin of victory in the end will be uh, a little bit larger than it was last year. Uh... Arkansas comes home after that for their season opener against Nichols State, so they can uh, definitely get a win. And then they have an interesting matchup on the road at Texas Tech, which uh, is an interesting move to uh, an interesting game to schedule if you're Arkansas. I don't know if Brett Bielma scheduled that himself or what, but I know they do have a say in their out of conference schedule. Uh, I would not have scheduled that game. Uh, I don't know. The schedule may have already was probably already set before he got there. Now that I think about it, but yeah, that's a tough break. Uh, uh, they got a what's that? What's his name? Cliff Kingsbury from uh, who was the former uh, offensive coordinator for Texas A&M. That really uh, young guy who coached Johnny Menzel uh, seems to be a good coach. Will be a tough game, and it'll probably be a loss for Arkansas. But you never know. Uh, it's really hard to say. Uh, I don't really know exactly how good Texas Tech will be. I know they were pretty solid last year. Uh, did they win their bowl game? I think they. I'm pretty sure they won their bowl game. If I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, on the road. If this was at Arkansas, I would probably uh, say Arkansas would win that game, but. At Texas Tech, uh, I don't know. It's going to be it's going to be tough. I would have to favor Texas Tech in that game. And then they come home for another tricky game against Northern Illinois. 
and really tough uh, scheduling for Arkansas here. Uh, who are their East opponents? Okay, they draw Georgia and Missouri out of the East. One good, one bad. But anyways, uh, Northern Illinois, uh, that's a very tricky game, especially coming off what's probably going to be a loss against Texas Tech. I'm going to give Arkansas the win here, but that's a very dangerous game. I know Jordan Lynch is gone, but Northern Illinois has been a dangerous team uh, for the you know, the past several years, and uh, I think uh, was it Southern Miss or someone gave uh, Arkansas some trouble last year. So yeah, Northern Illinois is a quality opponent, and and probably the best team, one of the best teams that aren't in the Power Six conferences. I think that I think Marshall's going to be a really good team uh, to watch out for this year. Uh, I don't know who who uh, they got on their schedule, but um, Northern Illinois is one of those teams, you know, you wish that you had uh, Central Michigan or uh, Bowling Green or something on there, or, uh, you know, Louisiana Monroe, but Northern Illinois, that's a, that's a tough game for Arkansas, but I will give them the win. Uh, then they got Texas A&M uh, in Arlington, Texas, so I guess this is a neutral site game. Uh, I don't know why they're doing that. I, think, I remember they used to. I remember Arkansas, Texas A&M used to play even before Texas A&M joined the conference. Uh, I remember they played when Bobby Trino was at Arkansas. But uh, I like Arkansas in this game. I like Arkansas in this game. That'll be a, that'll be a really good game. Two pretty even teams in rebuilding mode. I like Arkansas in that football game, though, so I, I will give them that one. Then they got a bye before they host Alabama Crimson Tide in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and you, I mean, you gotta go Alabama in this game. I don't see any reason why you would pick uh, pick the upset here. Um, do get a bye week, so I guess if you wanna. Uh, be optimistic about it if you're an Arkansas fan. That's a that's a positive thing. Um, maybe maybe Arkansas will hang around with Bama for a while, but I see Bama finishing this game, winning by at least three touchdowns. Uh, then they got Georgia in little. Someone tell me the uh, what's the story behind them sometimes playing in Little Rock. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, I guess that's some type of tradition or something, because I've noticed they've done that before. Uh, I guess they that's something they do every year. Um, I don't know why you would want to. I guess you know you're really the the main team in Arkansas. You got Arkansas State there, but um, you know that's not 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 much. Uh, so I guess you sometimes you want to move around and play in a different stadium to let you know fans who to go to the game who may not typically go you know uh, like fans who live in uh, Little Rock but anyways uh, gotta go Georgia don't you I mean I don't see why not and then they follow up with UAB which should be a win for the Hogs and then they go to Mississippi State which is a uh, I guess a winnable game for Arkansas. This is probably the the time of the year where where they're starting to play uh, a lot better than they were at the beginning of the year. Uh, I, you normally see this with uh, with teams who are uh, you know rebuilding their programs. They start playing a lot better towards the end of the year. Um, I like Mississippi State in this game though. If you saw my Mississippi State uh, preview video. I'm really big on Mississippi State. I think they're a really tough team, and uh, in Starkville, gotta go Mississippi State in this one. And then the Hogs have another bye week before they host LSU. Um, why doesn't L Why doesn't Arkansas and LSU play the last week of the season anymore? Anybody uh, got an answer for that one? Uh, they're a rival. 
the rivals. So I believe uh, Arkansas plays Missouri last uh, game of the year, and I believe LSU plays Texas A&M. So uh, it's kind of interesting uh, decision. Don't know what the, the thought process is behind that. Nonetheless, uh, man, Arkansas really surprised me how tough they played LSU uh, in the uh, season finale last year. If that's any indication of what Arkansas is going to be this year, then uh, Arkansas will be a, a really, really dangerous team. Uh, but I don't think so. Uh, you know, they didn't. They lost Zach Mettenberger. I don't remember how far into that game, so that may have something to do with it. But they were putting up points on LSU, so that's kind of a, a scary thing. But LSU didn't have their typical defense that they usually have either, so, you know, I'm not putting too much stock into that game. But I guess it was something that Arkansas could build on. Uh, I got to go uh, – you still got to go LSU, even though uh, I actually heard a couple of people pick an Arkansas to up to LSU in this game. Which I think is a possibility. You know, I think they'll be playing well at this point in the year, coming off of a bye week. But I'm not personally going to do it. Uh, and then they got Ole Miss in Arkansas. And, uh, hmm. Uh, looks like, yeah, they're in there in Fayetteville this time. Uh, I like Ole Miss here. Uh, I really do. Um, I guess they have a ch they have a shot, but uh, I've, like I said, I think Ole Miss is really a dark horse in uh, in the SEC West, and I think Arkansas will be able to run the ball in Ole Miss, but uh, I think uh, Ole Miss will will be able to throw the ball on Arkansas and that'll be a, I think that'll be a, a close game but I like Ole Miss to pull that one out in the in a in a uh, thriller uh, and then Arkansas finished the year at Missouri very interesting game and if I uh, I'm pretty sure that's a uh, that's a uh, permanent change where Arkansas will play Missouri uh, every single year now from now on I don't know what the thought process was behind that and uh, they used to play uh, South Carolina and of course Missouri and A&M the SEC newcomers used to play every year but uh, now they you know swap those so I don't know what the thought uh, what the thought was behind that move but whatever I like Arkansas in this game uh, I'm not big on Missouri this year. Two pretty even teams. I like Arkansas to finish off the year strong with the SEC win on the road. That would be a huge win for Brett Bielma. And uh, really like Arkansas in this game. Feel good about that. And let's see where that puts them overall. Let's see here. That gives them one, two, three. Three, four, five, and seven, I believe. Uh, land them just short of a bowl game. If they can, you know, pull out maybe one more of those games, you know, possibly they can get in. But I think more like four or five wins is uh, more realistic for Arkansas in uh, this year. Um, it'd be an improvement. They were uh, three and nine last year, so moving up. And then in 2015, they'll be back to a bowl game. And uh, you know, Arkansas is, I guess, in a way headed in the right direction. But I think they will run to a wall ultimately uh, down the road. But I think that about does it for the Hogs. Uh, I wish the Arkansas fans uh, luck this year. And I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.